My front yard just looks like crap right now. It's not looking lush and green. Look at these hideous flower beds. Some of the most monster freaking, I guess that's crabgrass that you've ever seen. This stuff is freaking growing on the house. All right, so today we're gonna drop another half inch on the mow, gonna keep going on that couple of week height of cut reset. And I'm gonna clean these front beds out. I'm gonna weed them by hand rake out the pine straw, prune the shrubs a little bit to get a little bit better shape, and then get this mow done. So let's get right to it. All right, step one, I'm gonna start cleaning out those landscaping beds. Let's get it done. got to get this front yard mowed. Let me show you what I've been doing or the notch I've been mowing on. It looks like it's having a thunderstorm out here. So, okay. So normally when you do a high to cut reset, you're going to want to use your bagger. Um, I did that last time. I mowed off a lot of that top green growth and bagged it and put it back in my mulch pile. I'm going to put the plug back in, put the side discharge chute on this time. And last time I mowed it on setting oh it's already starting to rain so we got to get on it i mowed it on setting uh d last time i'm gonna go down to setting e and blow all those clippings and it's probably gonna look pretty bad but let's get it done before all that starts pouring down
All right, we're getting towards the end of the day. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up my work for today on my ugly front yard. Let me go show you everything that got done today and what I plan to do next. All right, starting in the front, we got the front beds majorly cleaned out, got them edged, got the shrubs trimmed, pulled all those weeds by hand, raked the pine straw out, put the same pine straw back in, didn't spend any money on this at all. Look how great it looks. I'm expecting some weeds will come back, but Mondo crabgrass is right here. I am planning on spraying some Roundup next time around for anything that's lingering, but overall, looks about a thousand times better got the one by the mailbox too but check out the front yard so we've got the height of cut down to about two inches now that was a ton of work um, I've got to decide if I want to go down another notch so I can maintain it at two inches so to maintain it at this height remember when you do a height of cut reset you've got to drop it below the height that you are looking to maintain it at so I've got to drop it down one more notch if I want to keep it at this two inch height. Of course, that will be a lot more work. Um, got to decide on that. If I'm going to do that, I'm going to probably do it in like two days. So I know everybody does a height of cut reset ends up bagging. I decided that I was going to just side discharge it and put it into big piles and rake it up and then come back over it at an angle and put it in mulching mode and mulch up whatever's left and then blow anything else that's left with a leaf blower off over there and it did pretty darn good so you can see the color is a little bit green from this angle but if we go down towards the end of the driveway it looks completely not green this side i left about a half inch higher because it meets my cool season which is maintained at three inches so it just kind of flows better on this side to keep it a little bit higher but Check it out, we took a big hit, so lots of work left to do up here. We got the front bed by the mailbox looking pretty good. There's the brownish looking lawn, front yard. I'd say that was a good day's work. All right, so I'm gonna call it a day at that. I would ask you please hit the thumbs up and if you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I've got a ton of work left in the very ugly backyard. Still got some things that I'm going to do in the front yard as we wrap up the Bermuda season. So hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.